Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maca here. Welcome to Act 2 of my All Components and Collectibles Guide. In this video, I'll be going through all of Act 2, showing you the 36 collectibles, as well as all 106 components. Although, you don't actually have to pick up 106 items, it's closer to around 60 or 70. Nonetheless, from the very beginning, we can go down the ramp to our right-hand side and into the room on our right to find our first collectible. And behind that, we can find a stack of three components. You'll see two separate counters in the bottom right-hand corner, so you can pause the game and keep along with the video, making sure you have everything as we're going. Then what we can do is continue further into the level in order to find another component. As we come into kind of the main market, take a right hand turn and then there'll be kind of, uh, you know, a large structure in front of us. But we can take a short break from that main path and go to the right hand side, not far from the machine shop. Take another right hand side turn down the steps and in front of you at the bottom of the steps, you can find your component here. From that location, we can now head back to the main street and go across the street, basically just go forward from where we were across the street. You'll notice another building. There's a little bit of a balcony there. There's a couple of shelving units and in one of the shelving units, you can find another component. You'll now have five out of 106, even though we've only technically picked up three items of components. We'll then be making our way in the general direction of our main objective. There's really not that many choices in terms of where you go. You'll notice a large kind of bone statue in front of you, as well as a furnace to your right as you approach it. So make sure you grab the collectible license plate near the furnace before moving on. From the previous collectible of that license plate, we're now going to move forward and go in the direction of that giant kind of bone statue. And we're actually going to walk past it and go to the left in order to find the lost gear helmet sitting on the ground in a corner by some bushes. We will then move forward into a gate that will open for us. It'll close behind us and a new gate will open in front of us. Now we can basically run forward and the kind of building closest directly in front of us should have another component for us to grab before moving on. a small boy will see you call you names and run away where they run away from he will leave behind a wooden toy lancer sitting and up against this kind of block right here i already picked it up but here it is on screen and then what we can do is actually move on from this wooden toy lancer and go down the hill continue uh, in the direction of the boys' house, which is kind of on the right of the screen there. And instead, we'll go into the salvage shop on the left. And we'll continue hook around the left and find a... I believe this is like a children's poster or something for a TV show. Directly next to this collectible, we can also find a component to bring us to 7 out of 106. Eventually, we will reach the stable with a bunch of horses... Go past the stable and into the first room in uh, this new area. As the door opens, you'll unveil a mandate of rules on the left-hand side, hanging up on some lockers before moving on. From that poster location, we can now walk forward. Sorry about a little bit of a choppy frame right here for just this clip of the video. I don't know what happened. But at the bottom of the stairs, take a left-hand turn instead of going through the gate in order to find a component sitting on the ground in the corner. From that previous collectible, you can now go through the gate and you'll have a small cinematic or such. And on the left hand side, there is a small hut in here and you can pick up a component in the back left corner. There are a few more collectibles in this area to grab before we move on though. Directly in front of you before going down the stairs, you'll notice this uh, building that lines the staircase. Inside, on the main desk there, you can find a note to the chief. Oh, 
from that collectible location, we can head down the stairs that's connected to this little house and kind of across diagonally, you'll see a small kind of roaster of some sort for some animals and behind it, you can find a component before going to the direction of your main objective. As you reach the very bottom of the area, you'll notice that there's some gates to your left as well as some water. Don't interact with that area just yet. Instead, make sure you pick up this letter on the right hand side before interacting with the gate in order to progress the mission. You're then going to be working your way back upstairs and you'll notice that there is a new upgrade available on the left hand side for the bot. I think it's not actually Jack, it's Dave, right? I don't know, I got it wrong in my previous video, but in the side room of this area, you can find three components. And then once you pick up the shock trap and make your way to the next room, you'll have to use the shock trap on the generator to open the door. But before doing that, you'll want to go into the back room, obviously for some weapons. But in this back room, you can also find a component bringing us to 14. There will eventually be a giant fight and you'll be working your way up the hill. This is not far from where that furnace was, I believe. If you make your way up to the left, you'll notice that there is a silverback workshop and you can actually use this to defeat the enemies. But before you grab it, make sure you grab the collectible nearby and then we can move on. After all of the action, you'll end up in a dark room. You can find a component on your right hand side. I'm going to send Jack over to grab this one for me. It's going to be a little bit faster. You should be able to very easily identify this one. And there are another group of components. We'll climb up the ladder on the opposite side and there's kind of controls there. You can actually interact with them, but next to them, uh, three components. Additionally, in this room, I went back to kind of where I started when you spawn. You're going to be turn you're going to be told to turn on the lights. You can also find cog tags here before leaving this area. Now we are in act 2, chapter 2, and I'll show you exactly where on the map we are. There is a small little red kind of boathouse on a frozen lake. And in that boathouse, you can actually find the long shot relic. I have a separate video for relic guns, but feel free to pick it up while you're here. Just outside of it, though, on the ramp, just in front of the ramp, you can find a small little pump as well as a component. We now reach Act 2, Chapter 2, which kind of plays a little bit like an open world. If you are using this guide to mop up, make sure you're using the names of the collectibles in the bottom left corner as the way they're displayed in the menu is not always the fastest way to get them, which is the way it's shown in the video. There will be an optional mission during this chapter where you can find a train tunnel as shown on the map. Once you reach the train tunnel, there may be an enemy you have to defeat, but once you defeat them, you should be able to enter the train from the back in order to find the grind lift maintenance notes. Also, right next to that mandatory collectible, if you're going for all the side missions, you can find a component on the ground. Make sure you pick it up. If you exit the train tunnel and then follow the train tracks, you can end up in this location on the map where there is a busted out train car. So once you are in this spot, again, just down the train tracks from that tunnel we were just in, go inside and you should be able to find a faded photograph sitting next to a fallen soldier. And at that point, we can move on to the next collectible. Now we're gonna backtrack kind of a little bit in the direction that we kind of came into the area from and we wanna go to this exact location on the map, not far from the large gate that we will end up using in order to proceed to the next area. But here you'll notice that there are a couple of like fallen trucks and near one of them you can find the Islander's Lost Earring sitting on the ground next to his uh, torque bow. From the Lost Islander, assuming that was their earring, you can also now just kind of run in the direction of the giant gate that's blocking you. 
and there is another little crash here next to a large tire you can find a singular component make sure you pick it up this one's pretty easy to miss Still in Act 2, Chapter 2, we are now very close to our main objective on the main map, which is to reach New Hope. There will also be a secondary objective called Outsiders, I believe. And as we enter this area, there will be a small camp to our left. And here we can find a collectible sitting on the ground near the campfire. And directly next to that campsite, after reading that note, you can pick up a component directly in front of you next to the other blanket. We are now in Act 2, Chapter 3, which is a very linear level. We'll end up going back to the open world later, but for now, we'll enter this large room with a frozen down kind of uh, lobby area. And if we go to the back room in the right hand side, we can find a collectible on the table. We're now in Act 2, Chapter 3. We've just taken out a Warden, and he's dropped us a Breaker Mace, which I'm going to actually leave behind. Our objective is kind of up these stairs and to the left, but there is a side building to the right-hand side where we can kick down the door, go into the basement, and find a safe inside. And once we use Jack to hack that safe, inside you can find three components. Now, for some reason, I've done this collectible like three or four times, and one time enemies came down and attacked me and then the other times they didn't so i don't know you might get attacked by some enemies at this point you will then drop down a hole and you'll be told to find the niles ai and you'll come out the door and in directly in front of you just slightly to your right you'll see a kind of prison cell with some green gas and you can send jack in to grab three components for you here and for some reason he'll glitch out at least he did for me and we can kind of head down the hallway and look to the right. And there is another locked room. We can get Jack to hack this one. Inside, there are two things to grab. So we'll walk through the door and go to the right-hand side to find a collectible called the Sovereign Directive 10345. And additionally, there is something else to grab in this room. You'll want to turn around from that collectible and grab the components on the table across. These will come in a stack of three. Now, coming from this room, you'll exit back into the hallway, go take a right-hand turn. This is the direction of your main objective, so you can't really miss this room. On the left-hand side, before exiting, make sure you pick up that patient analysis. Then from there, what we can do is we can proceed in the direction of our main objective. We'll find a kid's room. And we'll be able to jump through the window of that kid's room into the next area. This is a mandatory section. As you jump through, find the patient analysis on your left sitting on a table. You'll then end up dropping down a small ledge into this kind of long and narrow hallway with a door on the right-hand side that leads to a very optional room. But in this optional room, you can find another patient analysis next to the surgery table. We will then end up dropping down a set of stairs into a new area. You can see on screen what our current objective is. I believe it's to find some AI. But we'll end up in this kind of narrow room with a bunch of what I believe are like servers or storage facilities all over and a bunch of electronic equipment. On the right hand side, uh, you can find a time worn data drive before moving on. We are now in Act 2, Chapter 4. We've made our way to the old cog wall, and I've went ahead and opened both sides. But as we entered, there would have been a ladder to your left-hand side. You'll take this ladder and get into a little bit of a battle. And at the end, you can also open the switch. But near that switch, there is also a fuse box with three components in it. And we're going to grab those before we leave. And there is another set of three components. I'm going to be a little bit sneaky here. If you look off the balcony, you can actually see it on the wall just outside. And I'm going to send Jack over to grab it. But feel free to go down the ladder and just run up to this fuse box and grab them before getting back on your skiff and then moving forward through the rest of the chapter. 
Next up, we've moved forward and we are now near the abandoned mine quote unquote side mission. It's actually a part of the main mission. You will need to do it. But before entering into the compound, on the left hand side, there are some kind of trains that might have been derailed. And next to one of the tires, underneath the snow, find the component. After that, we're going to head directly into the abandoned mine. And once you're in here, your map actually no longer functions, which is why I showed you a screenshot before we entered. But once you kind of enter the big area, you'll see the train tracks. As you come down into the uh, mission area, turn to your right-hand side and make sure we go into this optional train car in order to grab a component here. We could grab this one on the way out, but it's easier to grab right away. We've made our way through a significant portion of the mission. Your map is no longer available to you, by the way, while you're in the mission. But before going into the abandoned mines, make sure you make your way up into this watchtower and find the frayed pouncer tooth necklace inside. Still in the abandoned mines, you'll open up a door and then end up in this room with a bunch of lockers and your actual path to exploring the mines is on your left. But there's a small room on your right with a couple of like storage units. And in this room, we can find a mining poster before moving on. Right next to that poster in the same room behind you in the corner, there is a safe. Get Jack to hack it and then make sure you pick up the components inside for a nice and easy stack of five. So in the main mine shaft or whatever this area is, I guess, you'll end up coming in and there are a couple of side rooms to your left before moving on. And in the side room, you can find a journal of a miner. So make sure you grab it. You ever think about what happens to people in pods? Right next to this collectible, we can also turn around and on the door frame before leaving, pick up the components inside the fuse box. This time we get a nice stack of three. There's nothing human. Just... After the abandoned mine side mission, as you're leaving just a little bit to the north of the entrance, on the cliff's edge, you can find this train car. I showed you exactly where on the map to find it. And just off to the side of it, you can find a singular component sitting outside of it. Then what we'll do is go across the ice bridge to the north. And as I showed you on the map right here, we're going to be able to find a small little tank that's kind of been abandoned right on the cliff's edge. We'll go up and grab the letter to mama here before moving on to the East Communications Tower. <laughs> Not far from the previous collectible, we can find the East Communication Tower substation. Not far from the East Tower. And here, we'll make sure that we go inside in order to grab a collectible. So it looks like this building right here. I showed you exactly where on the map you can find it. You'll go through the doors. Uh, it'll take a little bit of a cutscene to get you through them. I think this is basically just a loading screen uh, being hidden from you. Once inside, though, in the back room, find the security memorandum. Also, while you're in this substation, make sure we grab the component that's in here. It's going to be in the main part of the room, just behind what looks like some type of crate. We've now went into the East Communications Tower side mission and powered the tower at the end. Once you're in this mission, you won't have a map available to you, which is why I showed you a quick screenshot. But once you power the station, go down the stairs and hook around to your right to grab a component. Knock down the door, and in this next room, you can also find another component that you'll have to get Jack to grab for you. You will have to power the station before you can leave, so make sure you do that and use the scanner and the satellite to grab any information off the map that you so desire. Now, before you leave, there is one more component to grab. 
just from that last location, go down the stairs and before exiting, look to your left hand side and get Jack to grab these ones for you for a nice stack of five. Turrets. Weird amount of security for the tower, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> You're asking me like I work here. We then move on to the Condor crash site, kind of near the middle of the east area, and it'll be on top of an ice bridge. It's kind of hard to miss if you're in the general vicinity. And once we've taken out all of the enemies, we can find two stacks of three. So as you enter the Condor itself, look to your right hand side in order to find a fuse box and make sure you go inside the fuse box to pick up the components. And then on the opposite side of the Condor, there is a safe that you can hack in order to get an ultimate upgrade for Jack. I have a separate video for those, but there's also a stack of three you can grab off the ground here. Next up, we go to a very specific point of the open world map, kind of north, but a little bit west of the Condor crash. You'll notice the giant... Uh, kind of mountain off in the distance here and there is a couple of pieces of what appears to be either a plane or a train and there is a small kind of rock cliff and an ice cliff but next to this landmark you can also find a component here We'll then continue on in the open world area of chapter 4 and on this location in the map you will be able to find an old derrick site and here out front before entering right near the flag here you can see the yellow flag which is kind of a symbol of a side mission a little bit to the left of it is a kind of capsule of some sort as well as a fallen uh, person and there you can grab the locust tag for crav Directly next to this collectible, just behind, you can find a stack of three components. From this location, we're going to go into the old Derek site. And obviously, if it's your first time here, there's going to be a bunch of enemies for you to fight and defeat. And once you clear them all, you can go to the end of the area and find the grind lift actuator component. I've taken out all the enemies, so I'm just going to run through at the back. There is what seems to be some sort of ship that is encapsulated in ice. And there is a yellow kind of panel that you can open up in order to find this component. It is technically like the end of the side mission to find this item. So as long as you complete that location, you'll have that collectible. We will then move on to another old Derek site. This one on the map is kind of in the northeast area. And as you approach it, it should unveil itself on your map. It's kind of encapsulated in a giant block of ice, as you can see in front of me here. And as we enter on our right hand side, we should be able to find a collectible on the ground uh, near a skeleton. Next up, what we'll do is actually go and complete this old Derek side mission. And we will drop down. There's going to be a bunch of enemies and a bunch of things to do here, which I've already done. But as you make your way to the back here, you will climb up the ladder. And then you'll be able to interact with the yellow panel on the part of the ship. And this is the way that you would actually end the side mission. And this will get you the radiator component. After grabbing that item, you'll work your way back down the ladder, and instead of going to the exit, turn to the right-hand side. You'll notice that there's a kind of back path, and there's these two ice crystals that are kind of blocking your way. You might have not figured this out. It actually took me a while to figure this out on my first playthrough. You can shoot right through them, and behind them there is a bunch of ammo as well as some components for you to grab. Then what we can do is move on to the north tower and go to the direction of the North Communications Tower. But before uh, kind of heading towards it, there is a little bit of a split path. You can go either left or right as you enter the area. What we want to do is go to the right in order to find the North Tower substation. This one is similar to the East Tower substation in the fact that it will show up on your map when you're near it. And it also does have a collectible. For this one, you don't have to go inside. Instead, the note is posted on the wall near the substation so just make sure you pick up that note look by the door there's a note the outside
Now, after picking up that note, if you've already been to the East Communication Tower substation and read the collectible there, you'll get a small piece of dialogue that allows you to put a code into the reader here. After you put in the code, you can then go through the door and inside. Once inside, there is a safe for you to hack with one of Jack's ultimate abilities, a very useful one for the shock trap called Seeker. And there's also a component inside of here uh, in one of the corners. After you grab the component and after you grab the Seeker ability, you'll be able to leave the substation and then what we'll want to do is after you leave out the door, take a right hand turn and follow the edge of the building and kind of behind the building you can find a stack of three components inside of a fuse box. Also right near the door you can also find the boom shot relic if that's something you're interested in. Think of all the outside of religious experiences. All the other people you saved. We saved. No, you saved. We are now inside of the North Communications Tower side mission, and again, your map is going to be gone from you once you're in here. We'll locate a Condor Crash, and inside we can hack a safe with three components inside. Make sure you grab them, as Jack will do this hack for you, but won't pick them up unless you command him to do so or do it yourself. You'll then reach just outside of the communications tower. You'll notice that there is a staircase here with a bunch of enemies. If you look to the right hand side, it's almost like a bit of a helipad here. And there's a safe you can hack. Hack that safe, go inside of it, and find the stack of three components. Next up, we'll go inside of the communications tower. That's me opening the door on screen. And once inside, take a left-hand turn. There is a side room in here. In the side room, before powering on the communications tower, you'll probably want to grab this component. Last but not least, in the northeast corner of the map, there is another condor crash in Act 2, Chapter 4. And there are a total of like three pickups here for a total of five component pieces. The first one is located just outside of the Condor Crash before entering on the right hand side of some of the rubble. You can pick up a singular stack. Then what you can do is go and run into the side mission itself. You'll get a button prompt to kind of sneak through some ice. And just in front of you on your right hand side before sliding down the hill you can grab a stack of three components, which will also wake up a couple of DBs. Del, unopened drop pods. After completing this Condor Crash side mission, feel free to hack the safe, find a Jack Ultimate ability upgrade inside, and then as you're leaving, before you drop down back to your skiff, look on the left-hand side just as the narrowest part of the path kind of opens up to find another component, and then you can now move on to Act 2, Chapter 5. I thought my mom was going to kill you both. <laughs> you were the first person to accept this. I always appreciated that. We will then end up in Act 2, Chapter 5, and this is another linear mission, so we won't be showing the map or anything. You'll enter a room with a large gate in front of you and some lasers, and right as you enter that room, you actually want to do a 180 and turn around and leave that room. Once you leave that room, follow the path, and then take a right-hand turn and go down the hill here. And you'll notice that there should be a little bit of a blinking collectible sitting right here in the ice and this is a helmet this one can be really tricky because it basically forces you to backtrack right after a cutscene. going back to that room with all of the lasers you'll want to make sure you have your cloak as your primary ability here and cloak through the lasers up to the left hand side to find a stack of five components inside of a fuse box you can also uh, grab the generator here as part of your main objective while you're at this spot once the room opens up and you'll notice that everything's frozen over, as part of your main objective, you'll need to find the generator. That's going to be up and to your left, which is also where your component can be found. So head up the path, kick down the door, and spot the component directly in front of you in the room as you enter. You don't say. Of course, we cannot proceed until the 
those cryojets are disabled. Would you mind terribly? Yeah. Then what we can do is we'll come into this room and clear out all of the ice and um, the jets from the bottom of this area, allowing us to now walk through. You're supposed to walk through and go to the left, but instead we'll stay to the right and go up this ramp and into the side room where we kick down the door. After kicking down the door, walk forward and near the back end of this area, we can find another subject analysis. Directly next to this collectible, we can also find a stack of five components, so make sure you grab those before moving on. Then you'll reach this area and three pods will kind of appear out of the ground and the AI will tell you about them before you move on. So go and move on, then go up the ramp and look to your right hand side to pick up a component before exiting out of the door. You'll then have a short cutscene and you will spawn in a room with a yellow tube basically directly in front of you. And right at your own feet, just to your right hand side, you can find the subject analysis on the floor here. You do end up coming back through this area in the other direction, but this one can be very tricky if you don't pay attention. You'll then go through another door and there'll be some frozen stuff in front of you and this room right here with all of this frozen stuff. What you'll want to do is send Jack into the room to pick up the three components and uh, what we can do then is kind of, we'll rewind in the clip a little bit. You can basically stim your way through the frozen room, so that's what you're going to want to do. And then once you're on the other side, you can find a generator. And for the generator, for the generator, you'll need to use the shock trap in order to power down the ice. And right next to that, you can also find a collectible sitting next to the body. You'll then end up through some more cutscenes and end up kind of, I believe, chasing Niles. And you'll end up in this area where you go through. You might need to use your stim occasionally to make sure you can survive all the ice. There will be a bunch of these frozen guys that you can kind of melee if you want. And you'll end up in this room where, again, you probably want to stim. And on the left-hand side from where you enter, you can find another subject analysis. In the same room as this collectible, basically directly across from you, you can find a stack of one component on a shelving unit. Once you reach the main area, you should notice that one of the windows opens up. You'll notice a scientist next to some control boards, and you'll then have an open door you can now go through in order to proceed. After you go through that door, make sure you find the sketchbook on the left near the ground. Last but certainly not least, as you leave the room where the matriarch chases you out, a door will open. You'll see some frozen guys in front of you. Directly across from you, there's a small little cavern. You can shoot one of the frozen bodies, and then there will be a component. In order for you to grab 106 out of 106 and all of the collectibles in Act 2, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if this video is helpful. Share it with a friend. Shout out to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show, and hopefully I see you in Act 3. Peace.